Hello everyone, I am Omkar and I am software engineer here at Geeky Ends and today we are going to explore the React Native's new architecture. So let's see what are the things we are going to cover in this talk. So first we will understand why the old architecture changed. Then we will uh, see the new architecture's components that is the Hermes, the new JavaScript engine. Then we will see the JavaScript interface and then the turbo modules, the new uh, modules which we have. Then the fabric, the new rendering system, and what is the business impact of this new architecture and what is the future uh, development in the React Native. So let's understand first why the old architecture has been changed. So uh, as the old architecture is based on the bridge-based architecture, so it has some limitations. And due to that, it has some performance bottlenecks and also has issues in the synchronous communication. and uh, due to these issues, the app performance a bit slow. So in this uh, to change this industry also wants the new architecture and also from the developer side we want the better development experience. So first understand why, how the old architecture look like and what are the uh, limitations it has due to its design. So earlier we have this our React Native code and due to the help of uh, Met Metro Bundler, we used to uh, bundle the uh, code into one JavaScript bundle. And this JavaScript bundle used to uh, execute through the uh, J JavaScript engine, uh, which is the JavaScript code in the old architecture. And this JavaScript code used to run on the JavaScript thread. Then uh, we have this bridge to communicate with this native world. and so what we uh, used to do, so whatever the code which we have, uh, then through this bridge we pass to the native UI to as these two are the different words, the JavaScript and the native UI can't understand the exact uh, JavaScript code through the native side. So we will pass the bridge through the serialization. So we will convert this JavaScript object uh, with serialization into JSON object. And then again, this uh, JSON object will deserialize uh, here to uh, native side to understand the code in through the native side. And the yoga library helps uh, here uh, to lay out the components. So as the JavaScript site in the React Native style sheet, we used to uh, use the Flexbox to render the, uh, to lay out the components. Uh, so native UI we, uh, doesn't understand the Flexbox. So yoga library helps to convert these uh, Flexbox into the uh, particular native UI uh, that can be the iOS or Android and it will lay out the components on the native side. So here main thing is the bridge. So, uh, so what bridge does, whatever the communication we have to do from the JavaScript side to the native side, it has to go through the bridge and in to go through the bridge, it has to do the serialization and deserialization process uh, to uh, uh, communicate with the native UI. So if, even if any event happens on the native side, it will uh, come back to the uh, JavaScript uh, uh, side to the bridge and again uh, JavaScript will execute the code and again it will pass the message to the bridge. So if you see this as uh, this process is a bit time consuming and asynchronous in nature as uh, it has to pass the uh, uh, event to the JavaScript thread then JavaScript will execute then again it will pass uh, to the bridge. So due to that uh, it has the performance issue and in, the co in complex applications it's uh, uh, giving the low performance and so to uh, reduce this limitation so uh, React Native T comes with the uh, new architecture so in the new architecture they uh, introduce the new components to reduce these limitations so uh, we will now see uh, what this new architecture uh, will brings up in the React Native so uh, the new architecture comes with the main components that's the Hermes engine uh, or the new engine for the JavaScript then this JSI layer which is replacing the old bridge and to communicate with the native world and it's written in C++ so it give, gives the more advantage to uh, communicate with the native world then the fabric the new uh, rendering system uh, which is help to more fast uh, compared to the old 
rendering system which we have then we have the turbo modules which is, which is the new uh, native modules uh, in the react native as they are using the jsi so it will help in the synchronous communication in the native module and also it uh, comes with the code gen and code generation and the type safety so we will see the uh, one by one uh, these components and how it works so before that let's understand how the new architecture uh, diagram looks like how how it exactly the fluid works so in as we see as per the old acts we have this react native code outside then metro bundler uh, will give us the javascript bundle then here we will see uh, we have replaced the javascript core engine with the hermes and so it will it is the new engine uh, more uh, performant than the old uh, javascript core engine and it also it uses this new uh, interface uh, we call it as a javascript interface and it is replacing the old bridge uh, which we have in old architecture and it will directly uh, communicates between the javascript world and the native world uh, so the fabric and the turbo modules this system also communicates through the jsi with the native world and the uh, as the yoga uh, library which also has in old architecture it helps to Uh, lay out the components on the native side so uh, let's understand the how this each component uh, works and how it uh, helps to provide the better performance compared to the old architecture so let's understand the hermes so hermes is the new open source Rhea, uh, javascript engine and it is specifically optimized for the react native so uh, as it's optimized for the react native so due to that it gives uh, some better uh, performance compared to the old uh, javascript core engine which we have so what we do so whatever the bundle javascript port we, which we have so we uh, we are calling it as a byte code we will provide the, to the hermes and hermes will execute that code and it will uh, use the uh, javascript interface to communicate with the uh, native platform and so whatever the javascript port which we have so it will be uh, through the jsi it will directly uh, communicate with the uh, native platform uh, with the help of direct communication it will uh, execute the code uh, without doing old serialization deserialization process so due to this we have some uh, performance improvements due to the hermes as uh, it will uh, it has the improved the time to interact with basically the uh, app opening time which we have so whenever the user opens the app and interact with first so the that uh, app starting time has introduced uh, improved uh, due to hermes then we have the uh, due to the hermes we have the smaller app bundle size as it's optimized for the react native so uh, it helps to reduce the app size and also due to the as it's communicating to the j site will help to reduce the memory consumption uh, while executing the javascript code then uh, we have the javascript interface that is jsi so it helps to direct communication with the native layer and as we see it's direct it's written in the c++ so uh, due to uh, it's uh, written in c++ it gives the uh, layer to communicate between the native site and the uh, uh, javascript effect so how it will see uh, works we will see so f suppose from the native side we have this uh, a native object uh, which coming from this its own native module so the jsi it will holds the reference of this javascript object uh, the native object into the javascript side so in javascript side we have the reference of this uh, native side object and due to that uh, we can directly access the uh, this host object through the reference uh, with the help of jsi and suppose this whole host object has some methods on it then we can call those method on the javascript side uh, with the help of the uh, jsi and uh, and this host object we can call this method and this method will, will be get execute on the native side thread so uh, due to this this helping in the direct communication and ja as the javascript can concurrently uh, execute the uh, operations on the uh, ui thread uh, on, that is on the native side and uh, it will directly synchronously communicate uh, communicate with the uh, native uh, side code also uh, it will uh, reducing the uh, the overhead which we used to have in the serialization deserialization process earlier 
so as it provides the direct communication so it will become uh, fast then the code sharing so as it's written in c++ so the uh, uh, whatever javascript code we are uh, we are writing on our side so it will be useful on the multiple platforms uh, through the react native so code sharing can be the helpful then the, it also provides the type safety and, and it's a lightweight so as it's in written c++ comes with its own type uh, type system so we have uh, we are we communicate with from the javascript side with the uh, type strip of the flow and so to uh, with the exact types it has in on the uh, native side so it will gives the type safety and also this uh, new uh, javascript engine uh, this new jsi interface is not a uh, uh, not coupled with the uh, engine so for earlier javascript core and bridge they are coupled the bridge already coupled with the javascript core uh, engine so we cannot use the other uh, engine so as this uh, jsi interface is the platform independent so we can use the another ja javascript engines like b8 and that will also work with the jsi to communicate with the native platform uh, then we will see the turbo module so so the, this new uh, native modules which we have we are calling it as turbo modules are the overcoming the limitations of the bold native modules as it is using the uh, jsi to communicate directly with the native site and and due to this it is provides the lazy loading feature so as in earlier bold architecture we have to uh, load the uh, native modules on the start of the app but the help of the uh, uh, new net turbo modules we can uh, lazy load the uh, native modules whenever we need in the application and then then as the, uh, the new uh, native model using the jsi so the uh, we can use the same uh, module on the multiple platforms uh, so it's kind of a platform independent then we have the uh, code generation tool with the new turbo models with the react native so what it helps so uh, we write the uh, specification of the uh, native model we want in the uh, javascript in the typescript side and then uh, as the typescript has with the uh, types and so uh, it will generate the native boilerplate code uh, for that particular native model for example if you are uh, writing the native module uh, for the local storage with the help of turbo module in the react native so we will write the specification uh, for that more uh, uh, local storage like for example the set item gate item uh, these methods and with the uh, types associated with it so uh, due to this this will uh, uh, lead by the code generation tool and it will uh, automatically create the boilerplate code for the particular platform for example for the android or the ios and we can use that code and we can add our own logic on top of that and we can uh, create our own uh, uh, native module to communicate uh, with the native side and we can use that uh, in the, our app so now next we will have the fabric so fabric is the new rendering system engine uh, uh, an engine rendering system in the react native so the so the core principles to in the uh, fabric to the, the more logic in on the c++ side so we can communicate with the uh, native side to so the jsi in a better way so due to that it's improved the interoperability between the javascript side and the uh, uh, platform side that is the native platform android or ios so how it does is the fabric provide uh, has the render pipeline with the three phases phases that is the render phase commit phase and mount phase so we will see uh, how the it works in each phases so in the render phase in javascript side uh, on the react side it will create the uh, our react component tree what we have and it will also uh, create the uh, shadow tree for the uh, components which we are creating so it's basically the uh, copy that we uh, of the react tree uh, which we do on the process of reconciliation and uh, in the render side we will create the shadow tree once the shadow tree is created uh, on the commit side there is two uh, processes happen so one is the uh, layout and the uh, 
then the giving the preference or changing key uh, like uh, replacing the new tree uh, with the old tree so suppose the once the shadow tree has created on the in the commit phase uh, what we do we uh, with the help of the uh, yoga library we uh, it decides the layout on the native site where it, the component will lay out on the native platform and then it will uh, promote the new tree which we have uh, to uh, render uh, to uh, on the native site so it, then it will go to the mount phase on the mount phase it the whatever the new tree with the new layout uh, information it will pass to the, to the native site and native site will uh, render the uh, that ui on the native platform and in case any state changes or so if any node has changed so again react will recalculate it and it will uh, make the change in the uh, shadow tree and once the shadow tree will change it will uh, uh, it will fix it will uh, calculate the new layout and only that comp that component on the native uh, native platform it will change and so it will so basically this as the process creates the uh, fast UI rendering with the uh, more performance compared to the old architecture with the help of the uh, this JSI and the this the new rendering pipeline which we have. So with the help of this new architecture, the React Native has the new capabilities uh, in it. So like it introduced with the transitions, so it uh, introduced with the new hook called use transition uh, which is coming the React 18. So we can now uh, give the priority to the updates which we want. So it has been or whatever the non uh, urgent updates we want, we can pass it the transition and React Native can skip the intermediate uh, updation in between for that particular state change. Then we have the automatic batching. So if there is a multiple uh, state call, state update calls has happened, so React Native will batch the uh, all these uh, state changes in the one and it will. Uh, on the once it will change the state update so it will reduce the um, intermediate uh, re-rendering of the state changes then we have the use layout effect so uh, with the help of use layout effect earlier we used to uh, draw we render the ui on the uh, on the screen then we used to in the use effect we have to change the state and then we will again we will change the ui on the screen and now with the help of the use layout effect with the before the changing we would the pair painting on the screen we can directly synchronously change the uh, ui and then we can render that ui so and also it will have, uh, provide the new full support to the suspense now we can handle the loading state on the components so we can uh, uh, we can uh, until the component load we can show the uh, loading state uh, in the components so or uh, due to all these new improvements in the React Native new architecture, so it uh, it gives the performance benefits it, in the production apps. So it will help the businesses to uh, to uh, provide the better experience to their user, and uh, it uh, application performance also improved in in the case of the complex UI. Then, as the new architecture provides the new capabilities uh, like use if uh, use layout effect, uh, so it, due to that, the faster development uh, is uh, the development time has become faster, and also uh, with the new architecture, we have the new developer tools, so that is also helping in the uh, new development site. So, and the so development time is now getting reduced, so it will help the businesses to uh, create the app in. Uh, much less time we can produce uh, the app and release the app in the uh, faster time earlier then the target multiple can with react native new platforms we can target the multiple platforms not only the mobiles also the tv and the desktop OSs. we can platforms and so it will help the uh, businesses to at uh, with one time they can target multiple platforms and so these are the uh, benefits with the react native's new architecture I hope uh, you uh, get it all and thank you so much.